eBay's third quarter financials just were posted out by eBay, and it appears their new business model moving forward are more fees for us resellers and less buyers on the platform. Hey, Don here. Today we're going to look at some information going around right now, much of it from eBay itself, talking about what their business policy going forward is. If you haven't seen the financial numbers on eBay, eBay made a lot more money this past year. Far less, though, than they did the year before, but they still are fairly up. Sad part about that is, though, it's not coming from actually selling more merchandise. They sold 10% less merchandise in that prior three months from third quarter. They also lost 5% of the sellers on the platform as well. And that's before going into the fall update. I'm sure those numbers will look even worse once you account in all the drastic changes they did that are running off buyers left and right. On top of that, every single projection from any market watch group, any transportation or shipping company is projecting massive increases this should be the busiest year ever for people buying online, ever on the history of the globe. Maybe not on eBay's side, but everywhere else. Let's dive in and look at some articles and look at what these folks at eBay are saying right now. So let's look at some sales growth. Let's look at what's going on. Now, Amazon is up for last quarter, for third quarter. The three months starting before October. So we're in fourth quarter right now. Amazon had an overall growth of 12%. 10% here in the USA. So Amazon is up. Most companies that do this sort of business are all up. Every one of them. Now let's look at eBay's for just a second here. eBay has dropped the sales on the platform. How much merchandise is selling went down by 10% in three months pandemic every company out there who ships and looks at sales for fourth quarter says everything's going to be flying off it'll be record numbers everywhere except it looks like ebay because ebay is still floundering right now with the the terrible choice well the only choice i guess of the person running the site the person running the site in my opinion shouldn't be qualified to even run a lemonade stand in my book it's my opinion i wouldn't have hired this guy he's never had the experience to run some major company he's over his head he's a walmart guy he's bringing in other walmart guys now on top of that five percent of all sellers on the platform left eBay stopped selling on eBay now I'm on e-commerce bytes right now and we're looking at an article Ina has done some research on it, it goes very well and I think the most important line on here is eBay also said it took in more fees from sellers who advertise growing promoted listings ad revenue by 12% in the quarter while a simplistic take that means an aggregate eBay sellers paid 12% more in advertising fees for 10% fewer sales. Let that sink in for a minute because that's exactly what happened for the last three months prior to October. We paid more, eBay made more money, but they sold less items. People are bailing on eBay. Now, I've been talking about this for quite some time. If you start running off the buyers, you run off your buyers, the sellers are going to go where the buyers are. So once you've got a big clink in the actual people buying on the platform one in ten sales are gone from ebay in just a three month time frame the only reason ebay was even up at all is because of a pandemic it's the only reason ebay isn't way 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 down in every manageable number the way it looks right now you can check the numbers before the pandemic and look at those yourself right now the pandemic is still on it's still going on everybody else is having hard crushing good sales on other platforms but on eBay, again, it is going in the opposite direction. Now, you may think, well, this isn't uh, something they've planned on. It's just the way things are going. Again, they're not happening like this on other platforms. The actual big take on this is when you look at what the CEO is stating, leaving this pandemic stronger than going into it. That's not hard to do when you're crashing before the pandemic. When you hire somebody like this person here who has no business running a company like this the guy who ruined the nook in so many other aspects a walmart guy who from what i see has no experience to run something like this either 
it's just a terrible way to run a business to say, well, we're doing better now than we were when we went into the pandemic. You're losing business. You're losing 10% of the people buying on the site and you're losing 5% of the people selling on the site. Those are 5% that had an option. Many other people will probably give up when their numbers are so bad that they can't keep continuing selling on the platform. Other sites are so much easier. Instead of making it simpler to list and not putting roadblocks in front of buyers so they have to click a bunch of stuff to get to somewhere, eBay is doing the exact opposite. They've added in this horrendous item specifics that make it almost impossible to narrow down a search for a buyer. It takes three times or more as many clicks or typing to get to a spot that you want that prior to the changes with the item specifics in the October fall update, you could instantly get to simply. Even the store changes that they have done are terrible because it removes showing people that you have a ton of items. Now they see a limited amount of items on one page and it looks kind of cheap and generic. It just doesn't advertise what people want. It doesn't give them a direct access. It doesn't limit the amount of clicks that somebody has to do. It's, it's honestly a detriment to your store if they can can't see the items that you're selling they're only given a small limited percentage of items that ebay deems that they think your your buyer should be seeing so hopping back over here the number of active buyers declined by five percent and during a post earnings call on wednesday ebay said it was spending less on certain forms of marketing now, what are those certain forms of marketing? What they deem as low value buyers, they're not messing with them much anymore. They're not trying to reach out to them. They only want the upper funnel, the expensive stuff. Now, every time eBay gives an example, like with the pay-per-click, it's like $600, $500. It's hundreds of dollars worth of stuff is all they seem to be going after. But they're not worrying about the $40 sale that we may have every single day of the week. They don't care about that from everything they're saying. They're pushing it to us. It's now our fault if our sales aren't going in. They want us to rely only on the coupons that they're offering us as that. So they've cut back on advertising for stuff that we sell. They're pushing the high-end market like expensive tennis shoes, $5,000 pairs of tennis shoes, $5,000 watches, $5,000 handbags, trading cards that go for $5,000, $10,000, $100,000. That's all they are pushing right now. They are literally stating that. The, the CEO that has no business running this company, in my opinion, is stating they're looking for the buyer who wants to buy a $500 pocketbook who will spend $5,000 in other categories. Now, why would that person want to spend $5,000 more just because he bought a pocketbook on eBay? That, that makes absolutely no sense. Even if it's a name brand item, they're going to hunt around to get the best price. And if it's not on eBay, they're not going to sell the other junk on eBay. All they're looking at is going after these high-valued buyers. They want the big money. They are, they are skirting uh, practicality and longevity just for a quick buck is all they are doing. Some of these categories, too, people are using these categories as investments like watches. Luxury watches have turned into investment. Trading cards have turned into investments. What happens when the pandemic's over and people are putting their money back into traditional markets once those start to fly? These categories won't hold the value that they do right now. Hence, short-term goals. That's all they're looking at. They're going to drive away seller after seller after seller and buyer after buyer. One in 10 people aren't buying those same items that they did before four months ago. They just totally dropped off one in 10. This is going on before eBay's fall update. It happened on the 12th. All of this happened before October. So what happens when these numbers are even worse after fourth quarter, where they still lose more people, more sellers on the platform because Poshmark, Macari, Amazon, everybody else is, is offering so much better. Facebook Marketplace has like free listing fees on, on so many things. So eBay's not the, the only option. With them changing our storefronts, they are actually killing in my opinion, a lot of the views that I will get because someone will bop up there to see 40 items and go, well, that's not much, and then leave. Everybody's used to seeing it before. They may not understand that eBay has changed all this. 
None of the changes that were done were ever told to the buyers themselves. They're not sending notice to the buyer, hey, easier way to look or anything else like that. It's all on the buyers now to figure out what's going on. Once buyers can't find what they're looking for, they're going to leave. And, and eBay's own numbers show that. eBay's own numbers show that they lost one in 10 of the sales they had in the last three months. That's not good. No matter how much more money they are making, it's not going to help the platform. You can only raise your fees so much on the site when people aren't getting sales before they leave the site. If it keeps going like this, the fees are going to have to keep increasing for eBay to keep posting more profits. You can only get so much money coming in. Now, a ton of the money they're making in profits, how they're making the profits, are coming from managed payments. Direct payments that they now collect, they get the money from that. So what happens when everybody is on managed payments, the number is not going to increase. Another takeaway on here, every time the post office raises their rates, eBay gets a bonus. They get an increase in fees because they're charging fees on shipping. So eBay can't lose on this. All of it's coming from us at this point. And they've even said that exact same thing. Now, if you look down here again, the CEO, I won't even mention his name because he's not worth me mentioning his name, in my opinion. They're talking about upper funnel marketing. They're cutting off all the cheaper stuff, all the marketing they're doing for low valued items, and they're only doing upper funnel marketing. Now, that's just a, a fancy way to say expensive crap is what they're worrying about. That's all they're worrying about. They're doing events, partnerships, and working with high end social influencers to sell high end crap. That's all that's going on. It also enables sellers to drive purchases from repeat buyers to the use of seller-funded coupons. Now, this last part, them talking about the seller-funded coupons here, is just them saying, well, the cheaper end stuff you guys can deal with with your coupons. We're not going to advertise for you anymore. That's literally what I see this saying. You can read it any way you want, but this is their playbook now. Worry about the high-end crap and that's it because that's when it rolls into the high-end crap. Now, it says just that about the advertising. For those who missed coupons in the eBay Bucks loyalty program, uh, sales and marketing expenses were lower in part due to the reduction in coupons and reward programs that we were previously targeted towards low value buyers. Now that was when eBay would send a coupon or an offer to somebody and they would cover the difference trying to sell lower value items. Now it's all shift to us. You're going to have to worry about doing the coupon, and that money's coming out of you instead of eBay. So instead of eBay advertising for the cheaper items, as they're saying right here, again, you can read this on e-commerce bytes, uh, eBay gross seller fees, but not seller sales. This is literally what they're doing, and they're okay with this. This is exactly what they're stating is the goal from what I read into this. They're cutting off it, they're giving us the coupons, and now it's on us to do all of the dirty work that they should be responsible for. So basically, you pay and you're going to have to get your own customers is what this looks like the whole ploy here is. And all the while, they're going to keep pushing promoted listings. They're pushing them to actually have them off of eBay. So now you have to pay to advertise your own items off of eBay as well as on eBay by the way they're looking at this. In third quarter, eBay explores ways to syndicate ads off eBay through external promoted listings. So again, none of this sounds like eBay has a clue on what they're doing. Shopify is just going to run circles over eBay stores without a doubt. Now, here's the, the, the funniest part of this. eBay has been increasing traffic to stores, and it continues to improve its store experience to make eBay the seller platform of choice. Well, when you're losing 5% of your sellers, that doesn't seem to be the case. Most every other platform out there has an increase in sellers. eBay does not. So every metrics that you want to look at and compare eBay to any other company that's selling online, whether they're making as much or not, the general results are most other sites have an increase in sales, in items sold, and they're not cramming a ton of fees on everybody else. You've got eBay's totally unknowledgeable CEO here talking about, well, we're coming out of the pandemic stronger than when we went into it. That's not hard to do when you're losing sales month after month after month on the platform. Their only goal at this point is to keep raising fees to keep increasing the amount of profit that they're making. They're buying back even more stock instead of investing in it. They've cut off advertising for lower end items. They're only pushing the high end trade cards and luxury watches, luxury purses, 
$5,000 tennis shoes. They're not addressing the site overall. They're picking a few selected areas. Everybody else can fend for themselves the way it looks. You can pay them to promote your items. And of course, that'll get you more sales. Everything is geared now towards promotions. People are catching on to this. That's why people are buying less off the platform. The searches are terrible. That's why people are buying less off the platform. Again, because eBay is squandering all the gains that they had during the pandemic. Pandemic's still going on and they're still losing ground back again. When the pandemic's over, eBay, I feel, is going to be dropping like a rock, like before the pandemic was going on. Sales were going down. Now with fourth quarter and the fall update and stuff, these numbers might not look any better coming out of fourth quarter. This is just insane that this is their goal. This is what they're doing. This just shows what's going on here. Again, the prices can go up on the shares because eBay is making more money. They're not selling more items. They're losing ground on selling more items. They're just gaining ground on increasing the ways to garner more fees from the people who are already there. There is going to be a point where you can't increase the fees anymore because there's not enough people buying merchandise to make it practical for the people selling on the platform to stay on the platform. It's just common sense. This is basic economics. You can't keep losing buyers you can't keep losing sales you can't keep losing the amount of people selling on the platform to other places and continue to raise fees it just doesn't work you're gonna fee everybody off the platform if people can't find what they want because you screwed up all the search results they're going to leave the platform I've been saying this for a very long time the minute buyers realize they can find the exact same thing somewhere else cheaper easier they're gone. It's so hard now to find so many things on eBay because of the way they've screwed up the search results that people are leaving. I can instantly find what I want on most other sites or through a Chrome search. Right now, if they wanted to be the biggest thing on the globe, they would have put out, instead of spending $5 billion into buying back the stock to inflate their own pocketbooks, the CEOs and the executives, they would invest that to bomb every advertising market on the globe. It's just free money they had, basically, from selling off stuff that was valued and worth keeping just to make a few extra bucks in their pocket. It's not going to continue this way forever. You can't keep raising the fees and selling less items. It does not work. Now, let's throw one more wrench out here. Anybody who uses an API that's a sync between eBay and any other platform out there may be in a harsh awakening come January when eBay dead ends the API they had been using. If other companies aren't aware or don't get their ball up, now this is talking about one specific uh, app that's using this API, but everybody's API is going to be gone since eBay has changed how you search on the platform. So if you think there's API problems now, like with HIP and some other platforms, wait till January comes up where you should still be having good sales and eBay cuts off, kills, and ends the third-party developer API, which so many people rely on. Everything is screwed up in the search results to begin with. I can find most items I want easier on Chrome than I ever could on eBay at this point. And the basics, again, is eBay's new strategy is for higher fees for sellers and less buyers on the platform. That's their winning model to fix the site issues. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Businessmen today regard advertising as an investment rather than just a business expense. Advertising and other sales activities should not move up and down with minor changes in the total volume of business. They should maintain a steady pace geared to the overall growth trend. These statements represent a very real and important change in business thinking. The feeling is abroad that aggressive advertising and marketing 
while they may not prevent short cyclical downturns in the economy, nevertheless will have a strong stabilizing effect over the long haul.